Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. When we last left off, we started the Chocobo Sanctuary side quest. And we finished up the first four Chocobo Sanctuaries. And uh, I made it to the fifth. And the fifth one, if you notice, is sitting right around right here. As you can see, it's sitting right in front of me. To give you a general idea of where it's at, if you turn around, there's a Diaz Orphanage. And then if you look right here, there's a big huge garden sitting right there. That's actually our next destination storyline wise. So be sure not to bump into that. But uh, ultimately our next destination is to head over here toward the Chocobo Forest. This is the fifth Chocobo Forest out of six. So we only have two left to go. Then there'll be the Chocobo Sanctuary. Then we will be on our way to... Because once we finish up the, that, the Chocobo Sanctuary, we'll be hitting up that garden. And there'll be straight shot storyline all the way to the end of this too. So, how's it going back from Warrior? Yep. This one's a little bit tricky, but I know how to do it. So, no, this one's actually really tricky. I'll give you the clue. It says, uh, what can I do for you? A hint, which says chocoballing with four bottles and one ball. All right. So what you got to do is get about right here and uh, use the choco zener. And then you'll notice right here, three of them will fall. Alright, so, so far so good. Now to go back to the uh, Choco Sonar. If you go just right here in between those, go to the Choco Zeta. And a fourth one will fall. There's the four bottles. Now for the one ball, if you stand right here, there's the, there's the ball. If you just kind of sit here and just talk to him, stand, for, stand here for a few minutes. No, not a few minutes, just like a few seconds, like 15 seconds. And then just use the Choco Designer again. He'll bowl through all of the Chocobos, leaving him by himself. And that's how you get to the one long chocobo, and there's the mama chocobo. And that's all you do for that one. Now we just got to detect where the goodies are at. Which, I'm not quite sure where they're at, but we'll find them. Ah, right here. So, right here in this little bitty corner. Do that. She'll dig it up. And, ladies and gentlemen, there's the fifth Chocobo Dungeon. I mean, Chocobo Forest. You got a Meteor Stone, a Flare Stone, and an Ultima Stone. I never showed you this yet, but the stones you can use for, uh... Like in battle, same as protected Shell, just extra magic. And there you go, it's... And he goes, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The chocobos in the forest, you won't need to find any more. So there's the fifth chocobo forest. Easy enough. Alright, so what I'm going to do is right before getting to the, uh, back to Balam, into the garden, I'm going to save. Just in case something goes horribly wrong and I bump into that garden by mistake. I hope I don't. Alright, so anyway, the sixth one, actually I don't think I'm going to run to the garden because the sixth one is right here in this general spot right here. So as long as I stay on this continent and uh, just land over there, I should be fine. So... And then I'll be the sixth the final one, then we can head to the Chocobo Sanctuary, and I'll show you how to do that. As long as you just keep rolling along here, you'll be fine. That's fine. I knew that was probably going to happen. It ain't that big of a deal. We just have to take a little bit of a long way around, but the sixth and final one is up here. And if I remember correctly, it ain't exceptionally hard, so... So hopefully, and then this one will be done, 
and then we can head to the Chocobo Sanctuary and finish up this Chocobo quest. And we get a nice little item out of it. So. If I remember correctly, though, there's, uh, Cactuar Island. If I remember correctly, the Chocobo Forest we need to get to is right up in here. If not, it's in that other area below us. If I don't find it in a couple minutes, I'm going to look it up so we won't keep, so we won't get lost. But I, I'm almost certain it's over here. I'm just not quite sure how to get there. So now I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to hunt. I'm going to hunt it down, and I'll meet y'all back in just. Okay, guys, we're back, and I found it. Okay, and uh, it's actually. Right down here, you have to take, you have to walk around a uh, ledge, mountain range, to get to it. But if you notice, it is sitting right here, actually. So, so once we get through that, and this is the final one, and then I'll show you how to get back to Balam Garden, and then we'll start making our way toward. Uh, toward uh, the Chocobo Sanctuary. Then we'll be finished, and then we can continue on with the main story. These things aren't too hard. Couple of rounds deep. Uh, one round. There you go. It's finished. So, yeah, nothing to that. And get an M Stone piece and two AP. And Carbuncle learned. To do, ooh. Carbuncle learned a new ability, so let's set him with the new ability. So, Carbuncle, let's now set you with. Yeah. All right. But this should be the fire. This is the Chocobo Forest of Isolation. Didn't know what it was called. But it says, how's it going? Back for more, eh? Thanks for the business. This is the final one, though. You want me to explain? No. Didn't think so. We're good at Tina. Let's get her hint. And uh, the enclosed forest. Collect on outer side, then go in. So, it says collect on the outer side. So, there's, there should be one right here. And then, uh, we're back to the tech. Should be one right here. Oh. There we go. All right, so that one's. Should be one right here. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, I got it now. So what you got to do is go over here. I did te check this out. Kind of worried around a little bit. But you go over here. Bring these two down. Just like that. Then you go back to use your uh, Choco Sonar. Go over here as close to the boy as possible. Right here. And, uh... That one will fall down. And that one will go up. Okay? Now all you gotta do is go over here to where this one was down. If you notice, right there. And this falls. And then you go over here to right there. And the one that wouldn't fall down earlier would, would now fall. Then you go to the middle of it. So you got all the ones outside first. And then, and then, get, and then make your way inside. All those will fall. And he just kind of stands there. 
And you're like, oh my god, what happens? And then this last one falls down. And that's the final one. Talk to him. And there it goes. And you go over here to this corner. And then catch the Chocozina. And that's where you get your uh, treasure from. And ladies and gentlemen, that takes care of the very final Chocobo dungeon. It's a uh, forest. Get a Meteor Stone, a Holy Stone, and an Ultima Stone. And... This hey, blah, 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 that's trying to fetch in. The Chocobo, you won't need to find any more here. And there we go. Now we can finally make our way to the Chocobo Sanctuary. Now the question is, is how we get to that. Well, I, my friends, I will show you how to get to the Chocobo Sanctuary. So first things first, let's get back to Balam Garden and I'll show you how to do that. You need to walk over here. If you notice over here, there's a little opening between the mountains and that's actually where Balam Garden's at, so. So, and once we take care of that, I'll show you how to get to the Chocobo Sanctuary, and then we'll be done. Oh my god, Squall just one-shot him. That was awesome. So, alright. And then after that, this is the final side quest I'm going to be doing for now for this 2. And we got some more stuff to do in this 3, of course, like that. But for this 2, this will be it. will be basically main story all the way to the end of this 2, then. So... These guys, I don't want to fight them. They're a pain in the ass. Let's just run. Run, run, run. These things are a pain in the butt. Even with Squall. Because they have a high physical defense. So, you just got to really pay attention. But if you go over here, there's an opening somewhere. Oh, right here. And it leads us right to Balam Garden. So there we go. That's how you get to that last uh, Chocobo Forest. Bye bye. Bye bye. And these things are a pain in the butt, so. But we're out. Alright, so now. All we gotta do is do that, and now we have to go head back to that garden north of uh, Trabia Garden. But instead of heading to the north and going all the way, like most JRPGs, just head to the south. And when you get to the edge of the map, you wind up on the north side of the map. So it's convenient, makes it quite easier to get to where you need to go. So. I mean, instead of having to go all the way around, you just go... I mean, we still have to take a little bit of a way around to get to, uh... land so we can, uh... Maybe I should be going the other direction. Yeah, probably easier to go the other direction. Why did I think of that? But once we get on land, we'll he we head into that Chocoba Forest north of, uh... North of, uh... Tra Travia Garden. And then we use that Chocobo to get to, uh... To Chocobo Sanctuary. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain all that in just a second once we get there. So let's head to that Chocobo Forest. So, pass up Shimmy Village. Yay. I know, I'm tired of seeing Shimmy Village. I don't know about you guys. Glad that side quest is done. We will be making a return to the Shimmy Village, but I think next time we go, it'll be storyline purposes, so. And, uh. Alright, so here. And, let's go in here. 
And let's grab a choke belt. Uh, one bite bug? Really? 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 Are you really just going to be one bite bug? Fine. Dead bite bug. <laughs> There we go, and boom. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Go in here, we're gonna grab a chocobo. So, come here, chocobo. Yes, uh, get the chocobo out of here. Ready, and congrats on your first catch. This ain't our first. Uh, it's perfect such way of saying thanks. Oh, I'm going now. Hey, hold on a sec. Hold your chocobos to celebrate your first catch. I want to give you a chocobo as a present. No, I'm not interested in a spell. Come on, name it. And we're going to get a chocobo. Just name it Boko, whatever. And the chocobo music. Okay, now that the theme song is playing, here's the explanation of chocobo world. It's really easy. Insert a pocket station to spot one or two, which I don't have. From the menu save, select Chocobo World. Then select Chocobo Foot will start. And your Chocobo Boko will begin its journey. Well, have a safe and fun journey. Bye! Alright. So now let's head toward the Chocobo Sanctuary. Now that we've completed all six uh, Chocobo forests, we should be able to enter the Chocobo Sanctuary. Alright. So what we gotta do is run this way. So we hit the water. Thought that's all you do. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, maybe it's a little bit further down. The good thing about the Chocobo is too is that there is no random encounters. Alright, so once we hit the water, we should be able to get across the shallow water. Let's head south this way. So we can land over here. Then once we head up on here, head to the far north. So we can land. It's in here this area somewhere, you just gotta look around for it. Hmm. It is it is in this area, just trust me on this, and it's I can't quite remember where it's at. Just look around and it'll pop up. I do like the chunk of my music though. Strange. I thought I could get to it. Hold on a sec. Okay, guys, we're back, and I found it. It's right there. And this northern little part right here, you just gotta keep looking. It's a little bit of a maze, but there's the Chocobo Sanctuary right here. So. So now that we found it, and it's a uh, chocobo from all over the world are here. Whoa, what a momentous occasion! 
You go up here and talk to all the chocobos, and all of the chocobos that you found are now in the chocobo sanctuary. And there's the little chickabo, and they're like, yay. And the last three chickabos are going to do yay dance. But walks of the moon again. Ah, uh, I love this song. Yes, Waltz of the Moon makes a return. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? I wonder what the other three Mama Chocobos are coming. <laughs> and out of all of this, for everything that you do, you go up here and talk to the little Chocobo. Are you going to give me something? You get the Chocobo card. <laughs> yeah, you're last. Help me? That's right. Maybe I'll see you again. Thanks for the business. What is the last time you'll see me in action? Here, Choco, Choco, Choco. I said, come here, Chocobo, please. <laughs> How's that for you? See ya, see ya around somewhere someday. Are you gonna give me something? You talk to him again, you get Dashel Greens, and you got 600 gills snatched away from you. And I guess I'm out of Chuck Mill and get going. I thought he's supposed to get another card from him. I'm gonna go over to enter and see. I, was supposed to, I thought you were supposed to get another card from him, but I guess I was wrong. Because I didn't think it was the Chocobo card that you get from him. I, think there's an, I don't know if there's another card you get from him, but I guess I could be wrong, so. I guess not. I guess it was the Chocobo card. I thought you're supposed to get a Chocobo card from him, not the Chocobo card. Unless I read Chocobo is Chocobo, Chocobo is Chocobo for some reason. I don't know. But that is it for. Well, I can look one more time real quick. I'm gonna go in one more time and uh, double check on this. Make sure my card I did get. So let's check out my cards. Oh yeah, I did get the Chocobo card. Okay. That, okay, I did get the right card. So let's grab this Chocobo, and we are done. We need to head back to Balam Garden. So we're going to have to take the little route back to Balam Garden. The Chocobo card is also the next card you'll need for the Queen or Card side quest. Yay. Trust me on this. Yay. Yeah, so it's Queen of Card Sky quest is not over with yet. But, uh, alright. So let's, uh, Head on out. Let's head back to uh, that garden close to Travia Garden. That forest close to Travia Garden. And let's go get our back to garden. Guys, this is the last side quest for this too. Why did I re-enter that? That was... Do I, get, do I have to go re-enter as a chocobo? Do I have to grab the chocobo to get out? Okay, so I have to go grab the chocobo again. Yay! Man, I just made a full freaking circle. I can't believe I did that. I made it to the chocobo sanctuary. Yeah, don't talk to the little chocobo more than once or it'll start taking money from you, so. So now we gotta go all the way back around to go back to uh, Blob Garden. Then Balam Garden, we're going to uh, start getting everything set up for the next storyline. Continue on with the main story. Yeah, you're not. I'm not. Full, you're not fooling me this time. All right, how do I get out of here? 
think this is it. Yeah. Alright, so now, actually, I think I went out there. I don't think it really matters. Because I. Okay, yeah, it does matter. Because you can't go, go across deep water. Alright, so I gotta find my way back out now. Jeez. Can't believe I can't even find my way out of here. This is uh, stupid. You can enjoy the music for a little bit, though. You can enjoy the music for a little bit, though, so. Eh. You're not, you're not gonna fool me again by going into the Chocobo Sanctuary. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, we're just a fucking idiot. So, hold on, it's one second, guys. Come on in. Stop them. Okay, guys, we're back, and I made it back to Blom Garden. Didn't really take as long as I thought it would be. It was just kind of annoying getting back there, but we did make it back, and now. We are done with the Chocobo, oh, now that we're done with the Chocobo Sanctuary side quest, it's time for us to continue with the main story. So our next objective is now, remember that garden I showed you at the beginning of the episode? That, uh, it's by, by Adia's house? That's our next objective. So. Do, 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 do. So the best thing to do is just walk along this way and just keep going this way until you can find a place to land. Then we're going to make sure we're all junctioned up and stuff and probably call it an episode when we, when we come back on the next episode. We will uh, run into the uh, garden and see what goes on. See what goes on. So we're now starting to wrap up this too. So. There's Mr. Chocobo Forest. We can always go over here and take a look. But I don't think it does anything. This place looks familiar. See, you, won't, you can't even go in. So right before we bump into it, we'll stop right here. Okay, we'll make sure everybody's junctioned up properly. Okay. And defense for you. But we're going to end it here, guys. When we come back, we are going to uh, bump into that garden and see what we need to do to finally stop Adia and stuff once and for all. So you have a good day. I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. This DKS3 is a crazy gamer.